today's tip, I'm sharing my tips on how to make successful relief cuts around the arms and the back on a wood frame chair. Today I'm working on a uh, Frenchy style side chair um, with a tight seat and a picture back. Um, this is a very popular chair style for beginners, um, but the relief cuts can be a little bit intimidating. So let's, um, let's change that. So the first thing I did was uh, find my placement of the pattern. It's got this animal motif. Um, so I wanted it sort of centered in the cushion, but not totally centered. And then um, I didn't want to cut off their little heads here. So I found, and then I found the middle and temporary tacked in the front and in the back. And then you'll want to also temporary tack on the sides. Um, that's just to keep it in place while you're uh, stapling around. Um, this also has a very distinct stripe in it, so I've made sure that those line up with the arms and I'm going to tack um, close to that to keep that. Okay, and so temporary tacking is when you put it, um, you don't shoot straight in, you just tilt a little bit to the side so that it sticks out on one side so you can easily pull it with your pliers um, because when you're going around a whole chair you're going to more than likely have to reposition so the way that I do it is I start in the front. So now it's tacked on the sides and in the back. So I will come about, um, I'll start in the middle and come about halfway to the edge and staple the front in, making sure that my pattern is all straight, uh, putting the pressure on there, not too much pressure to get puckers, but you know, taut. And then watching this line because um, not all patterns will have that, but this one has this distinct line in it, uh, stripe. So I will come to about here, both sides. And I'll stop and do the relief cut. Um, since this has such this stripe here, I actually temporary tacked in about four places on the back um, because I needed to make sure as I was going front to back that this line stayed straight. Okay, so here's the part where people go wrong. So if you leave the tack over here on the side, when you fold the fabric over to find your relief cut, it's skewed this way. And um, it's hard to know where you're gonna hit when you're going sideways. Now this has a line, so that helps, but if you had just a all over pattern or a solid, it would be really hard um, to get at that angle correctly um, or harder anyways. So what I wanna do at this point, uh, now that you've got it pretty well uh, forward and backwards is pull that temporary tack, see how easy that was? Um, and then fold the fabric like this. Keep it where it needs to be, but like that. Now you can get at it in a, in a, in a perpendicular line and you won't run the risk of being off. Um, and you really, especially on this fabric with the stripe, can't be off. Okay, so to make the relief cut to go around the arm, you're gonna want to come at it in the middle of the arm. So I'm gonna draw a chalk line so you can see. Um, once you get used to it, you won't have to do that. So um, right to the middle and then you'll wanna go off towards the arm and stay about, start with like a half inch when you push down away. That's gonna be where you're gonna cut. So basically you have a Y and now you're gonna cut. Okay. Cut straight down, make the little Y yeah. and then you will be able to tuck right around, tuck the little point in the arm. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so the most important thing there is that you um, leave yourself a little room. So cut at least a half inch away. Um, and if you have to recut a little bit closer, then do that. Don't go too far and not be able to come back. Um, okay, so now I know that where I want this to be, I'm going to staple right here, which I already did, and then smooth it back and put another temporary tack right about here. That way when I stretch, or uh, <laughs> stretch, when I smooth all this out and tack this, whole corner down I don't pull and distort back here or up there this will help along with the temporary tacks in the back and this one here before I go back to the front you can see you fold this under and you've got I've got some foam and some Dacron and then the edge roll so just kind of tuck it under all of that and then I will staple okay so now we're at the corner and this is why I only come to about um, halfway to the edge from the center in the front because because of the angle, uh, the curve of the cushion, the dome, you're gonna have to take some of that up and it's going to curve around. So there's two ways to finish this off. You can pull, so take up the slack and go to the middle and tack right here and then do a uh, pleat on one side 
and you basically tack here, start from here, and then it'll make a pleat, and then one on this side, or you can pull this all over like this, tack right here, right here, and then come straight down. So you only have one pleat, and it's just a preference thing. On this style chair, I like to do the two. I think it looks cute. Um, and as long as they're consistent on both sides and they match this side and that side, um, you know, I like, I like this way and it seems to be easier too. Step is to finish each front corner um, and I'll go down the sides um, about to halfway and then we'll do the back relief cuts. Um, those are a little bit easier. The back of the chair, um, you're not going to do it exactly the same as you did the arms because you're coming at it at the corner of the back instead of straight on. So it's okay in this point to have your fabric um, tacked halfway down the back and, and folded this way because you do want to come at it <clears throat> at an angle. So um, I'm going to take my chalk and you don't need to make the whole line necessarily but you definitely want to make it where the fabric meets the rail. You want to put a stopping point. So um, so you know where to stop your scissors. And then you'll want to come at it from this angle. Okay, here we go, people. Party people. Okay, so see how I'm going right towards this? And I'm gonna see, okay, my chalk stopped right about there. Again, I'm just gonna stop a little shy of it, just in case. Yep, I can see that I could have trusted myself because I can go a little bit farther. Easy peasy, right? That one's not as scary. So now we have this extra fabric that I'm gonna cut off right about here. And then I will tuck it under and then finish tacking. Same thing over here, tuck it under, finish All tacking. Done. So now she's a pretty girl. She's got her little animals centered, but not too centered. Nice relief cuts all the way around. And then I will finish it off with um, single cord welt because it has a nice channel for that. So, and then of course the back is a picture back. Um, so that'll be a last tip for you. When you start to apply the welt, um, don't cut all of the seam allowance off. Um, just cut as you go. And then when you get to the arms, you're going to want that because then it tucks under the fabric, um, and stays in place better. Like a and little bit of glue once you get it in place here. Um, but if you cut all that off, um, you run the risk of this moving. So I hope that makes sense, but I just want to save you. I know sometimes when you make well, you just immediately go and cut all that seam allowance off, but in this case, you're going to want to keep it just for the part that goes around the arm. If you'd like to see more upholstery tips, go to my IGTV on Instagram or check out YouTube. Thanks.